talking about something that's breaking the mold. OpenWRT has released its very first hardware device, the OpenWRT1. After two decades of being the go-to for open source firmware for routers, they've finally stepped into the hardware game. This is a massive leap for OpenWRT and it's shaking up the world of networking. So whether you're a longtime OpenWRT user or like me, who's been using it for almost two decades or just getting started with open source networking, this release is packed with some potential. So let's dig into what makes OpenWRT1 so special and why it's worth your attention. Let's dive into that today. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming technology teams and products. So we're going to break down the history of OpenWRT, go with its incredible new hardware release, and what this means for networking enthusiasts everywhere. We're going to go through a bunch of different reports today. So let's talk a little bit about the history of OpenWRT. So OpenWRT has been a staple in the networking community since 2004. Originally, it was developed as a firmware replacement for Linksys WRT54G, and it quickly grew into the most versatile and widely used open source firmware. I've been using OpenWRT since 2009, and it's been amazing to see how it's empowered users to take full control of their network, from advanced configurations to custom security protocols to being able to build on custom modules. OpenWRT puts the power back into the hands of the user and the developers. So now, after 20 years, OpenWRT is celebrating its milestone anniversary with the release of its first ever hardware device, the OpenWRT. One. This is more than just a router, it's a statement about the power of open source technology and hardware. Now, this device is a game changer for open source enthusiasts. Unlike traditional routers that lock you into proprietary firmware, the OpenWRT1 is designed with freedom and flexibility in mind. So it ships with OpenWRT pre-installed, giving users access to its vast ecosystem of features right out of the box. So think of it as a router built by the community, for the community with no compromises. This isn't just a product launch, it's a celebration of what open source technology is. So let's jump over and take a look at this here. So this is the actual release, and you can see that this open source firmware router project, OpenWRT, ships with its entirely own repairable hardware, right? So forever unbrickable is kind of their, their tagline here with a Wi-Fi 6 from Banana Pie comes packed into the kit. So the open source Wi-Fi router from project OpenWRT and from the source Software Freedom Conservancy, let's see if I can say that right. So OpenWRT is used by commercial router makers like myself who've used it for almost two decades, right? And so this is the first pictures that we're getting of the OpenWRT1. And it comes with a dual core MediaTek MT7981B processor and MT7697 for Wi-Fi 6 chip from the same vendor. Also has a pair of ethernet ports. So this isn't super robust as far as like an ethernet router is concerned, as far as a lot of ports, right? I can already tell you right off the bat, there's a lot of people who are gonna be missing some ports here, right? But it does come with an M.2 slot on it. It comes with, with an M.2, comes packed with tons of power. So it even comes with 256 megs on board as well as one gig of RAM. Now they are selling these for $89, uh, $89 on AliExpress, right? And so this is one gig of DRAM and this comes with a case with the antennas and with the power supply. So pretty impressive piece of hardware here. And this is pretty neat that we're, we're seeing this come from, from OpenWRT. Now this originally came about because they posted this idea. So it's not a new idea. We spoke first about it at OpenWRT Summit 2017 and 18. So it became clear in December 2023 while tinkering with Banana Pie style devices. They're already pretty close to what they wanted. And so they continue to grow this. And you can see this post was in January, right? So over the last year, basically in 2024, the OpenWRT project turns 20 and they celebrated the first launch by first launching their own upstream hardware. In November, this is where they announced the first router was designed specifically for OpenWRT release, right? And then it went on sale. And this was actually the product release for this. And so I wanted to leave this up here while we talk about it a little bit here, because this is a pretty cool thing, right? So it's pretty amazing. The OpenWRT1 isn't just a good router. So it's packed full of good specs. It has dual band Wi-Fi 6 support, a quad core processor, multiple gigabit ethernet ports, and the router is built for performance. So it's perfect for advanced users who need more than just the basic network setup. This is definitely more than just your standard at home router, right? Now, why? now, after 20 years of success in the software space, OpenWRT jumped into the hardware. The answer is simple. They want to be able to control it, right? They want to be able to control creating their own device. And the OpenWRT ensures that the hardware is perfectly optimized. Now, this is pretty neat and it's a pretty great router. And I'm really excited because it does come with the community behind it. And the OpenWRT community is amazing. So this isn't just a product from a faceless corporation. It's a labor of love from the OpenWRT community. Over the years, the community has contributed thousands of features, fixes, and improvements. So OpenWRT1 is a culmination of these efforts. Now, how does it compare to similar routers? So most off the shelf routers are fine for basic use, but they're not built for the power users of a lot of us developers like to develop on something
something as tough as this device, right? So this is a really like powerful router. So unlikely proprietary routers will be able to pack this much punch into one project. So this is perfect for if you want to be able to develop on a development board. Now, I love OpenWRT. We've been developing on it, like I said, from 2009. We developed, we've shipped almost 100,000 units from Clean Router using OpenWRT devices. And now we also have another project, which I'm going to bring up onto the screen here, which we have just relaunched featuring a very similar board to the OpenWRT one, right? So this is our open source. It's the only open source mesh wireless packet. So this is built on top of OpenWRT, but now it features Wi-Fi 6 boards. And so if you're looking for a great mesh design, this is a really good package to be able to get you started on mesh and to be able to give you all of the control that you get with OpenWRT. You can see the specs are very similar. Exact same processors with OpenWRT is running, right? Dual core 1.3 gigahertz processor. Ours has 256 megs of RAM, which is tons of RAM and 128 megs NAND flash, which is super fast, right? And it's running on the latest Wi-Fi 6 chips. And so the, both the nodes and the routers are running on this hardware. And again, as with everything, we've open sourced this project. We are welcoming people who want to be able to come and contribute, but we have now released the version of 2.0 of FreeMesh, which is built on a very similar hardware hardware to this OpenWRT one that's being built. So I would definitely recommend that you go out and grab these. It's 249 to get three units. So you not only get the base router, but you'll get two nodes that are set up very easily. The instructions are right here and we'll tell you how to set it up and how to use the three node setup. So free mesh is a great package and it gives you all the control. So you know, nobody is snooping on your data, right? You have full control and you can continue to build on this. And we're encouraging people to get this and to continue to contribute. So we're excited to announce our free mesh version 2.0, which is aligned up right at the same time that OpenWRT1 is releasing theirs. So this is super exciting time to be developing in this hardware. This hardware is super robust. Again, I've been developing on OpenWRT hardware for almost two decades, and this is by far some of the most powerful hardware that we've been building on. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree with what I've said here? Check this out because we'd love to have you hit the links down below. Check out freemeshwireless.com. Or if you're interested in the, the OpenWRT1, you can check out the links that I'll also provide down below. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up here at Startup Hack and on our channel. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out because we'd love to help. Check out startuphack.com slash Spencer if you're looking for help with your company. Otherwise, check out freemeshwireless.com for this great hardware package. And we will talk with you guys next time. Want to become a software developer, but don't want to spend four years in college and rack up massive student loan debts? Think you need technical expertise to get started? Welcome to Startup Hack, a better way to start your software career without student loans and years without income. One-on-one -on -one tutoring is included so you never get stuck and have guidance through the whole process. No technical experience is necessary. Learn at your own pace and in your own space. Startup Hack has worked with local state agencies in your area to make it so that qualifying students can get the program costs covered entirely and students can start earning while they learn. Hello, I'm Tom Smith and I completed the full stack development course offered by Startup Hack. And I must say that it was an excellent experience. The course curriculum was well structured and covered all the necessary concepts and tools that I needed to start in software development. The tutors is what set this course apart from others. They were knowledgeable, experienced, and always available to help provide me with guidance and support. The course provided real world examples and studies to help me understand and apply concepts better. The course was very hands-on. The projects were a bit challenging, but very rewarding. They helped me to build a strong portfolio of skills to showcase to potential employers. Startup Hack helped me land my first job as a software developer just weeks after completion. Do not hesitate to take advantage of this affordable and efficient software development course. Hi, I'm Jacob Nickerl, and I completed the full stack development course offered by Startup Hack. It was the best decision I ever made by a landslide. In five months, I went from a college student who was working at Home Depot part-time to a full-time software developer, all without needing to finish my college degree. The course curriculum was extremely well-structured and covered all the necessary concepts and tools that I needed to start as a developer. One thing setting Startup Hack apart from any other coding bootcamp was the quality of one-on-one -on -one tutoring available. I received invaluable coaching on real-world problems as part of the program, both via screen sharing calls and chat support. All of the projects that we did were challenging and thought-provoking, but left me feeling 
very accomplished and very prepared for my first job that I was offered just days after completing the program. Complete our three month coding boot camp, gain hands on experience, and land a paid internship. With two years of experience, on average, our graduates are making over $80,000 per year. The three month program includes technologies from Microsoft, Google, and Facebook. No debt, just a quick path to earning. Check out startuphack.com to code your future and start today.